So this is this is an example of our host unit, basically the head end for our DAS system. And normally we would sample the base station output into an RF port, we'd sample the waveform, down convert it, sample it at baseband, and then convert it and distribute it onto our digital backplane for distribution through our SFP laser functions that you see here. And then on the reverse side, we'd receive the incoming optical waveform, convert it over the backplane for distribution out at the RF port back into the partner base station at RF, of course. Now, with the EDAS solution, we can remove this card and replace this card with the concept with which we partnered with IP Access. This back card, or the, uh, the, the master card, and this small daughter card comes from IP Access. It instantiates a Pico chip PC triple three device core processor here and the rest of the functionality is basically interface functionality. We can then take this card, place it into the host unit like so and then we no longer have the base station exterior to the host unit sampled at RF. We now have the base station embedded on the card integrated into the host unit, and all we have coming out of it is an Ethernet port carrying the IP traffic back over the IUH interface, in this case, back to the core network. LTE variant that we have in mind, or variants that we have in mind, it would be at the S1 interface that we tackle. But fundamentally, the base station is now encapsulated into the host unit. It can be mapped onto the backplane in any way we choose. And then, of course, we can take the other dark cards and replace those with the same base station topology. It would bring the Wi-Fi back over the virtual Ethernet channel that I mentioned, and then it would appear back over the, um, the, the Ethernet port that you see here. So fundamentally, Wi-Fi is integrated into our solution, but it happens to be implemented in the remote radio head. Or as we intend it to be deployed, we can take multiple Wi-Fi access points and have them operating as a satellite system around our PRISM radio head. So we, we, we anticipate that if we have a uh, deployment where we have multiple Wi-Fi APs operating in combination with a single high-power radio head, we want to be able to operate several Wi-Fi APs for every one high-power licensed remote radio head. So we believe we need to leave the Wi-Fi implementation in proximity to the remote radio head bring it back to baseband, to the Mac PDU level, and transport the Mac PDUs to here. So fundamentally, it does support Wi-Fi today. That's our, our, that's our intention at the moment. Well, the, we see the solution evolving in several ways. First of all, TE plans to continue to be profoundly capable in our DAS implementation. So you'll see a variety of innovations that the eDAS solution we're discussing today is um, part of our vision but it's not the core part for the next few years. We believe that, that being superbly uh, well placed to execute on DAS will be our fundamental our business. The, the ultimate small base station solution is the small base station solution that delivers the baseband radio resource from the small base station over a fiber distribution network where multiple small base stations are operating in combination in a highly coordinated way inside one unit, operating into a variety of multiple uh, remote radio heads, both high power and low power, and delivering the coordinated multi-point network of the future. <laughs>